Aaron, y'all, and thank you so much for joining. Um, so to kick us off, uh, my name is Margaret Smith. I'm the executive director of the Common Market Texas, joining you from Houston. Uh, my favorite vegetable is summer sweet corn, so can't wait. Uh, can't go wrong there. Um, I'm thrilled to be here today, so thank you so much for joining. I um, want to invite all of our participants today to join us in making it easier and more affordable to access healthy, fresh local food straight from our dedicated Texas farmers. Everyone deserves access to healthy food, but we know that it's not a reality for many in Harris County. Over 17% of Harris County residents are food insecure. This means they lack consistent access for enough food for a healthy and active lifestyle. And when people lack access to healthy foods, they're at a higher risk for developing chronic diseases, type two diabetes, obesity, heart disease. Our goal today hosting this informational session is to get the word out to organizations across Harris County about our food access fund. This is our incentive program that allows your budget to go even further and enable your organization to increase the amount of healthy food in your programs. Please note, if you're not located in Harris County, we definitely still want to partner with you, but this information session is focused on a Harris County specific discount program. So we're going to share more information about our food access fund, who can participate, how to join, and how to unlock a discount on healthy food purchases, and how to get you started on receiving farm fresh foods for your community. So as Margo and I are sharing uh, during this session, we welcome you to pop any questions over into the chat box, uh, and we'll definitely have time to cover those in the Q&A session. So I will turn it over to Ms. Margo to start the presentation. Again, welcome everyone to this information session on increasing healthy food access in Harris County. Thank you again for being here. We're gonna go ahead and get started with a quick agenda, um, <clears throat> an overview of what we, were we are going to be discussing today, uh, including the mission and vision of Common Market Texas, what the Food Access Fund and the Healthy Food Financing Initiative are, some success stories from both our partners and our producers, how to get started with us, as well as a brief question and answer period at the end of the session. So to kick us off, a little bit of background on us. The Common Market Texas is a nonprofit based in Houston, Texas, with a mission to connect communities to good food from sustainable family farms. Our organization started 12 years ago and has been in operation in Texas for a little over three years now. And we're really proud to be a part of the movement Improving Health in Harris County and beyond. We're committed to seeing Texas communities thrive, able to access healthy, sustainably produced foods from the retailers, schools, institutions right in their neighborhoods. It's our goal to ensure that both the supply and demand of sustainable food grows enough that the common market can provide enough good food at affordable costs uh, to the customers who need it the most. So partnering with us at Common Market, if you're not already partnered with us already, uh, as I see some of our great community partners are already on the call, so thank you. But if you're not already partnering with us, this means that you are gonna be able to connect your community with healthy local food that supports local farmers. Together, we will help keep our farmer neighbors growing and make a positive impact on the local economy, all while providing you direct access with fresh food. So what this looks like, every week we work with our farmers to get the freshest Texas grown fruits, vegetables, grains, and meats. Our trucks go out and pick up the food from our local farms and we ship it out to our partners from our Houston warehouse. We deliver to schools, hospitals, universities, restaurants, as well as community partners. We aim to be a solution to help small farmers connect to customers and help communities access nutritious, fresh food that might not otherwise be available in the neighborhood. It's a win-win for our farmers and hopefully for you, our community partners. 
we know that price can be a barrier and budgets are limited for many community organizations. In order to directly address this obstacle, the Common Market Texas utilizes its Food Access Fund program that provides a 25% discount on fresh food purchases for qualifying organizations. Uh, we do have a set of criteria to help qualify organizations for this discount. Uh, that criteria is listed in front of you and a quick review of it is being located in Harris County, being a mission-driven or community-based organization, uh, being committed to expanding food access and or allevi alleviating food insecurity. Um, the food that's purchased through the food access program with this discount would go directly to community members most impacted by limited food access, as well as knowing that this discount would enable an organization to increase its purchasing capacity from the common market. Great. And we're so proud to be partnering with Harris County uh, as an awardee in the brand new Harris County Healthy Food Financing Initiative. The county is funding this 25% food access fund discount to allow us to really expand our impact across Harris County communities. Great. So there are several ways uh, to choose how you'd like to receive your farm fresh foods. And we want you to pick what works best for you and your program, your budget, your community participants. We have several options to fit a wide range of programming needs, all of which can be covered by purchases through our food access fund discount. Our Farm Fresh Box program, this has been incredibly popular during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we deliver individualized food safe boxes to make it easy to plug into a community distribution or a curbside pickup model. Each Farm Fresh Box contains a mixed selection of five to seven different seasonal produce items, all grown and harvested by our network of sustainable family farmers. We pack and deliver them to you in a convenient, safe, pre-packed box, ready to go. Our, repro our repack program, this is where we deliver bulk cases of food items for communities to repack into their own box program. Uh, you know, you might have an existing CSA program or to add to a nutrition or culinary education event. Our farm stand program, this is a great option when you want to resell food to your community. We work with you to help your organization plan and organize an on-site farm stand or pop-up farmer's market with your volunteers. We supply ordering and pricing tips and promotional materials to help you get the word out. Lastly, our wholesale bulk purchasing. This is typically how we work with our school and hospital customers, and many of our community partners do take advantage of this option as well. Through wholesale purchasing, you can order case quantities of bulk local foods. Just You just check out our, our weekly availability list to see what's in season, what's ready to harvest on our farm. This is really a great fit for food and meal service, and you get the added benefit of uh, affordable wholesale pricing, which can really help you uh, stretch your food access fund discount even further. Beyond this menu of program options listed, we want to work with you to customize your ordering to, to meet your program needs and get you the, the type of food you're looking for um, to make the most of our partnership together. We've already seen great things happen when our community partners utilize the Food Access Fund. And here are a few examples of those amazing success stories. Um, Fingatrice Robles is a small urban farm on the east side of Houston, and they actually purchased through our wholesale program to help supplement their CSAs. And those, that CSA program actually directly serves communities that have low food accessibility. And that it, it's really great to see the consistency and the uh, opportunity that they've taken to get different types of food into different communities. Trinity Gardens Church of Christ is a small community church that has a pantry that supports over 100 families in the Trinity Gardens neighborhood. They were looking for fresh food options to add to their program, and they utilized the Food Access Fund's 25% discount to expand the amount of food that they can purchase providing fresh food options at their bi-monthly pantry on a regular basis. 
We've also seen amazing collaborations between entities like school districts, such as HISD, or excuse me, ALEAF ISD and Hope Clinic. Uh, it, they've developed a nutrition program in Southwest Houston uh, that allows students at select elementary schools to receive a farm fresh pre-packed box to take home to their families, helping improve their nutritional needs as well as getting food straight from school right to the home in a convenient manner. There are so many reasons for organizations to participate in our food access fund. And as we mentioned at first, in simply increasing the capacity of purchasing that each organization has. But it also uh, adds an opportunity to display or provide a variety of different fresh foods that are reliably sourced and cultural, culturally appropriate for the community. That gives the community an opportunity to enjoy foods that they prefer. And it also helps give you an opportunity to supplement through already established programs. Like if you are receiving food from a donation channel or community gardens, this would be a great way to add a little bit more to the program that's already existing. Um, all of this food is safe and high quality, directly delivered to your community, making it really easy to connect with dozens of farms in the Southeast Texas at one time. Great. So let's get started. Um, the Common Market Texas, we wanna make it easy to purchase local food and make it more accessible with this food access fund discount. So the first step is to apply to participate in our food access fund. You'll complete a quick online application form to ensure that your organization is eligible to receive our community partner 25% discount. We will provide you with that link in to the application form at the end of this session. So stay tuned. The next step is really to prepare your local food order with us. If you're opting for our farm fresh boxes, we'll coordinate with you on your weekly numbers, make sure we're getting enough uh, to cover the families you plan to serve, and we'll share what to expect in each box ahead of time to pique everyone's interests and get those recipes ready. We also send out a weekly availability list that updates in real time with the specific items that our farmers have in their fields ready to harvest for you. So we'll list um, seasonal fruits and vegetables. Those change with the season, but we do have some local food items available year round like rice and honey and olive oil, for example, to place your order. You can either email us or give us a call. Our contact list, our contact is uh, listed here, but we'll provide it to you after this session. We do have an order minimum for delivering to you. Uh, we do have a $200 delivery minimum. We can also coordinate pickups at our Houston warehouse for smaller orders if needed. Um, we pack every order safely here at our facility and deliver straight to your community site, whether it's a school, a uh, health site, a uh, house of worship, um, we will deliver it straight to you. We all know that collaboration is the key to success and we wanted to highlight one of our standout community partners, <clears throat> Huey, Huey German Wilson. She's an incredible advocate in the Trinity Gardens neighborhood in North Houston. Uh, she's spearheaded collaborations with Trinity Gardens Church of Christ and Northeast Community Redevelopment Council that has resulted in thousands of pounds of fresh local food brought directly into her community. During the pandemic, after the pandemic, we are so happy to continue this collaboration with Trinity Gardens and it's always a joy to work with Huey herself. Uh, but the impact actually doesn't just stop at your community when you purchase fresh local foods from the Common Market Texas. It actually goes far beyond. Um, all of our fresh food comes from local farms. So every purchase that your organization makes directly supports these farmers and their families. Uh, pictured here, we have Shakira. She's actually the farmer at Terra Preta Farms in Edinburgh, Texas. It's a small family owned and operated farm with a focus on restorable farming practices restorative farming practices rather. And they have a variety of products, including some of the best cherry tomatoes in Texas. Um, Planet Forward Farms is a nonprofit organization that supports refugees 
by creating financial opportunities in urban agriculture. They have several small farm sites in and around the Houston area, and Planet Forward is able to grow a variety of specialty and culturally specific products like Gai Lan, which is Chinese broccoli, and it's really, really good. A little bit of oyster sauce, but we have a recipe for that. Uh, there's also Fresh Life Organics, which is a farm on the west side of Houston that's owned, operated by Jeremy Peaches, who is a young African-American farmer who is committed to sustainability and equity in local agriculture. He grows some of the best sweet potatoes you've ever seen. And every time we get fresh food into your community, your community is supporting these farms. Yes, we love our farmers. <laughs> Um, all right, we would love to hear from you. Um, let's see if there are any questions. Um, you can type a question right in our chat box, or you can use the raise your hand button and we'll call on you to ask your question. Um, so I will go ahead and take a look here. And I also have some frequently asked questions um, if there aren't any, um, any questions to get us started. Um, want to make sure you all have all the information you need um, to get started partnering with us with this food access fund opportunity. So I'll give folks a second. Um, and as folks are considering what additional information they need, um, again, I mentioned that this is an opportunity focused on expanding our partnerships here in Harris County. Um, a common question we get is, well, what if I'm outside Harris County? Well, we definitely want to still partner with you. Um, so please do be in contact um, and we will see what, what we can make happen and what, what's a good fit. Um, we've also shared our application link uh, to begin participating in our food access fund. Uh, there is a link directly in our chat box now, and we will be sure to share that out, um, but you can go ahead and take a look. Another common question we get is, what does it really look like to get our first order? Um, what, is, what does that look like? Um, we will work together with you to identify the best date and time that you need to receive food at your site. Um, we'll work that out and we will uh, send you a list of what to expect ahead of time. Um, day of the delivery, we will, our refrigerated truck will arrive with our farm food um, ready to deliver to you. Um, they will unload the food from the truck um, directly um, at your site. Um, so it will arrive on a pallet and we will place the food um, directly where you need it, whether that's right outside your building for a distribution, um, whether it's a parking lot at your church or house of worship um, or a loading dock at a school. So we, we will work with you to make sure that the food gets to you safely and efficiently. Looks like Eric, did you have your, your hand raised? Did you have a question for us? Yeah, at, at really quick, you, you answered half of it. So I work for a Waller Assistance and Restoration Ministry. We are in Harris County. So from that perspective, we qualify, but we're a stone's throw from Waller. And I just wanted to make sure that there wouldn't be any issue if we distributed food, both to Harris County and Waller County to, to I guess, clients. And we run a food pantry already. So, but we're looking for other avenues to get food. Great. Thank you so much, Eric. That's a great question. Uh, yes, I think that we would want to, we'd welcome the opportunity to speak with you a bit further to get a little more information about your service area and the different programs in and out of Harris County. Um, and we would um, be able to extend the food access fund program to you um, accordingly. So that's great to hear. Okay. Thanks, Eric, for the question. I don't see any other raised hands. Sorry if I'm missing you. If I am missing you, feel free to come off mute or use the chat here. Don't be shy. I will. Hello. Oh, hi. I have a question. Hello? Oh, yes, yes ma'am. Oh, okay. Um, as far as the application is concerned, is that through the, um, let's see. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, 
I think I wrote the uh, link down, but you've given it to us, right? Before This morning you have? So the link to the Food Access Fund is uh, been posted in the chat box on the side, but we will also be sending it, uh, sending some follow-up correspondence that will also include the link. So we'll make sure that you guys have it. Great, great. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And the application is a pretty simple process. It's really, again, uh, a mechanism for us to get to know you and your organization better. Uh, make sure that you qualify for the 25% community partner discount. Uh, and um, it's a pretty simple process. So just let us know if you have any difficulty finding that, but we will make sure to send out the link to everyone after this call. Um, another common question um, is, you know, Margo shared a bit about some of our farmers, but a common question is, you know, who are your farmers? Um, and I shared at the beginning of our call a bit about Common Market's mission to support small and mid-scale family farmers, um, but we, we really do seek to partner with uh, smaller farmers that are looking to grow their opportunities and to, to connect to, to more, uh, more communities. So we look for farmers that grow uh, uh, safely and utilize sustainable growing practices. And we also look for farmers um, that are local right here in Texas. Um, we do have a great base of um, great base of farmers located in southeast, central, and uh, south Texas. Um, I think another great question is, uh, when will I get my delivery? And we do have delivery scheduled, as Margaret mentioned earlier in the presentation. We do encourage conversation in in all of our partnerships because we strive to make this an accessible option. So we are located right outside the U of H main campus. So some of our smaller organizations have found a lot of flexibility in being able to pick things up. Uh, and it's become kind of great to see them pop by the warehouse as well. Uh, but know that we do have the capacity and bandwidth to make larger orders happen because of our refrigerated box truck. No loading dock or anything like that is necessary. We are able to cover that. And we have an amazing driver named John who will let you, maybe he will answer any questions that you have. Great. Mm -hmm. I see that there is a question um, from Alex. Thank you. Uh, is there a commitment that organizations need to make when applying for food access funds? And do you need to order a certain amount while using the funds? Great question. Um, so it's applying for our food access fund. There's no, it's a really flexible partnership. We're here for you. Um, we're here to add on to what you have going on in your community. Um, there's no requirement for frequency of deliveries or yes. um, total amount yes. that you need to order. Um, so, you know, it could be a couple times a week that you order from us, a couple times a month. It could be once a year. Um, but applying and getting approved for the food access fund means you have this discount um, in place uh, to order when you need it. Um, so that's really great, really flexible. Um, obviously, we look to build really strong uh, partnerships over time with our farmers and our community partners. So uh, we uh, are eager to, to grow our relationship. Um, you don't need to order a certain amount when using the funds. Again, um, for, for a delivery, we do have a $200 delivery minimum. Um, to make sure that our operation is, um, you know, running efficiently. Uh, but if you need a smaller order, again, we can coordinate uh, a pickup at our warehouse if it doesn't meet that $200 delivery. So we'll work with you to make it happen. Margaret, it does look like there's another question here in the chat from Karen. She asks, how is the billing process? Is it handled via invoice? Great. 
Yes, great question. Thanks, Karen. Uh, we do provide invoices for all of our partners and customers. Um, so it will show uh, all of the specific quantities and um, specific items that were ordered, um, the amounts, uh, the value, um, as well as highlighting the amount of the discount uh, provided by the Food Access Fund. Um, so we provide those uh, to you with each delivery or pickup. Um, we do ask for uh, check on delivery for initial partnerships, but are able to provide uh, payment terms that work best for your organization. So we can work with you, you know, depending um, on what you all need. Um, some organizations need need payment terms. So we're happy to work with you to, to figure out uh, an arrangement that works best. Thank you for that question. Great, great question. This work, you know, you know, pays our farmers, keeps them growing and, and builds, builds a sustainable food system for everybody, making this more affordable for everyone. But these are great questions. Um, really welcome you all to continue um, shooting us as you're learning more about this. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, really appreciate uh, everyone's thoughtful questions. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We have our, our information for contact information displayed right over here above our heads. And we also have all of our information here for follow-up contact for any questions that you may have, feel free to reach out anytime. Um, also, we will be following up with links to the Food Access Fund, as well as to the recording of the webinar, if you guys wanted to come back and reference it or share it at any time. And we once again, really appreciate all of the hard work that you do for all of your communities. Thank you for joining us today. And we are really looking forward to working with you in the future. Have a great afternoon. Thanks guys. Thanks everybody, appreciate it.